chains. They're going to put the chains back on. They're mm-hmm. um, subvert or sub um, submissive. Submissive. So welcome to this minute of Wonder Woman. Well, look, well, and the bracelets were actually believe this not bracelets were actually ripped off shackles from Hercules oh. or whatever. No, from the from the chains. Oh, they, they interesting. Used to wear them as a reminder. Of, of where she came from. So if no one knows this, if you haven't been listening all the way through uh, today's Minute 83, and if you haven't gotten here, we like pop if culture you beyond this. If started on Minute 83, I want to know why, first of all. <laughs> well, <laughs> Anyways, what's my favorite minute? <laughs> We're never going to shy away from hitting other pop culture beats. No. So. Uh, so yeah, so so he says, uh, she comes along too. Uh, Zira's nephew says, Not Zira too. doesn't want your female. Taylor says, I want her. And... His nephew says, if you insist, but I'm not taking any orders. And Taylor's like, fine, just let her out. I didn't understand that. Yeah, it's fine, like, but you're I'm not the boss of me. Yeah, kind of. I'll do it, but you're not. Sure. I'm doing it because I want to do it, not because you want me to do he's it. A, he's yeah. a teenager. I'm going to my room because I want to, not because you grounded me. Well, I mean, me. we're assuming he's a teenager based on the stature. And yeah. the fact that he says he's Zero's nephew, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's a kid. Yeah, but there's something, there's something about even the way, I don't know how old Lou was at this time. But there's something about his delivery, and it's even when Julia says enough with the speeches. Very juvenile. Any parent who has a teenager, and if my daughter's listening upstairs, there there comes the moment where you're like, okay, uh, enough. And and I kind of, I kind of have the feeling he's a teenager. I, I kind of feel that too. I mean, technically, you can be a nephew that is older than your aunt. If my parents were to have yeah. a kid right now, mm-hmm. and if I were to have kids uh, ten years ago. My nephew would right. be you know, older than their aunt. Or my, uncles, yeah. Absolutely. So Taylor says, fine, just let her out. And Zira's nephew unlocks the cage and leads the two of them out. Yeah. What I liked about this next moment is we actually see that it is nighttime outside. I have oh. to admit it was a little hard to kind of see a little bit. Well, of it's because it's one of the things I really hate about any type of movie using day for night or mm-hmm. never looks like night. That's what it, it is. Didn't. They, they it shot it in the day. They color corrected it to look like night, and it will always look like it's the middle of the day. They stopped down the lens. They had a blue looked, tint. But it's blue. Yeah, really yeah. You can blue. tell the sun's out there. The shadows don't look right. There's no stars in the sky. But why do they do that? Because it's because cheaper it's to shoot. To do. It. Yeah, it's easier cheap, cheaper to shoot in the day. You s- you still you don't have to bring lights out. You expose you everything. Yeah, the, exactly what you've been shooting all day. The one thing I kind of like about and this will go into the next minute is at least we find out and without getting into the next minute about what time of day it is. Yeah, that it's actually night. And but that it There's the transition of time. Yeah, the transition to me the transition from the bluish to the next. Fine, I'll say it and you guys can shoot me down. But the next day, we at least get some sunlight. It kind of has dusk or dawnish elements to it. So at yeah. least at least it works like that, if I'm stretching my imagination. There's some, there's some really cool stuff in the next moment that didn't make that point. Of course, Taylor uh, well, then, escapes. My God, let's stop it. Let's go there. <laughs> T- Taylor escapes again with a key in his hand. I'm just waiting for him to throw it away, just like the last time that he escaped. Uh, I do want to take a moment to talk about the, the cage that they run by. Uh-huh. The, as I stumble over my words, you guys, if you doubted the nipple on the top of the cage before, <laughs> it, really is in, it, it, is, it is in full view. All I can say is whoever designed it, very could it have looked more like a breast if it, it tried? It's very champagne glass shape. It, it's just the oddest cage in the whole world with a nipple on top. Very feminine. Yes. Well, I, that's it for my notes this minute. Yeah, Richard, do you have anything else? No, I don't have anything else. Okay, that's Minute 83 in the books. We thank everybody for listening again. We'll have another one up tomorrow. In the meantime, you can go to our website, com. check everything out, let us hear from you, tweet to us, send us email, because we all know Sean loves email. I'll answer them. i leave that moment for you to think about. Mm-hmm. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. The Minute of the Eight.